and some straight talk from the nation's doctor. We really need you all to lean into and prioritize the health and safety of the American people. No more bickering, no more partisanship, no more criticism or finger pointing. There'll be plenty of time for that, but we all need to hit the reset button and lean into moving forward the health and safety of the American people as our top priority. More stories on how people can protect themselves, more people on how people can get the resources that they need that we've unleashed from the federal government and state and local governments. Less stories looking at what happened in the past. Again, there'll be time for that. I want you all to understand, as Dr. Fauci said, this will get worse before it gets better, but we are making progress to flatten the curve. We are making progress. Three important points. Number one, almost all people will recover. 98, 99% of people will recover. People need to know that. And we heard a great story on NPR this morning about an 89 year old from that nursing home facility in, uh, in Seattle who is recovered. Number two, we must lean into protecting the most vulnerable, those with chronic or severe medical conditions, especially seniors. Now is the time for us to lean into that and we are taking the measures to protect them at HHS. Secretary Azar, Bob Cadlick, Bob Redfield, Admiral Chihuahua are hard at work right now leaning into that from the federal level, but we need your help. Social distancing and mitigation, they're not to protect the 30 year old or the 20 year old from getting coronavirus. They're to protect your Nana. They're to protect your granddaddy. They're to protect the people who you love in your lives and we need your help. And finally, we all have a role to play. If we are complacent, selfish, uninformed, if we spread fear and distrust and misinformation, this situation will last longer and more people will be hurt. But if we pitch in and we share the facts, we will flatten the curve and we will overcome this situation. So finally, my prescription, know your risk, understand your circumstances, and get the facts to protect yourself at coronavirus.gov.